As you know, Sage Act Hosted provides you and your team with access to your Sage Act Premium database from your computer, tablet, or smartphone anytime you're online, so you're always on the same page even if you're not in the same place. If you want the added flexibility of accessing your data when you're not connected to the internet, or need to take advantage of additional features available in the desktop version of Sage Act Premium, then you'll want to install the offline client. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to install the Sage Act Premium software on your computer and restore a copy of your remote database. The Sage Act hosted offline client is simply a local installation of Sage Act Premium and a local copy of your Sage Act hosted server data. This database is pre-programmed to synchronize periodically with your Sage Act hosted server so your data may be updated when you're connected to the internet. This lesson will focus on installing Sage Act Premium and then restoring a copy of your remote Sage Act hosted database. After you've signed up for the Sage Act hosted service and completed the getting started process, you'll receive an email message with the offline client setup instructions. This same email message includes several important links to download the Sage Act software as well as your remote database. So the first step is to download the Sage Act software and then install Sage Act Premium. Locate and click the link in your email message. If Internet Explorer Security blocks the download, click the warning message and then choose Download File. Click Save and save the file to an easily accessible location such as your desktop. If you'd like to view or print step-by-step -step instructions, return to your email and click the next link that will open the Knowledge Base article on installing Sage Act Premium. After the download completes, close the download window and Internet Explorer and double click the executable program on your desktop. Then click Run and this will unzip and extract the files to your local hard drive. After the files have completely extracted, the Sage Act Setup Installation Wizard will begin. On the installation splash screen, click Install Sage Act Premium. Sage Act will run some installation checks to verify prerequisite components are installed. If these components are not found, they'll be installed prior to Sage Act program files and Microsoft SQL Server getting installed on the machine. After the prerequisite components are installed, select your regional version, then click Next. Read and accept the licensing agreement, and to perform a typical install, verify the option is selected, Otherwise, you could choose a custom install type. As stated here, the custom installation enables you to select the location of your Sage Act program files, SQL Server, and other options such as whether or not shortcuts will appear on your Start menu and Desktop. For this example, leave Typical selected and click Next. If Microsoft SQL Server is not installed, it will be installed first, followed by the Sage Act program files. After the installation is complete, click Finish and exit the installation splash screen. Now after Sage Act has been installed, you'll need to download and restore the remote copy of your database provided in that last email you received from Sage Act hosted support. So return to your email scroll to the section entitled Installing the Offline Client and you'll find a link to download your Sage Act hosted remote database. Click the link to begin the download. Again, click the Internet Explorer security banner and choose Download File and save it to your desktop. Close Internet Explorer and double click the .rdb file on your desktop to begin the restoration process. You may optionally specify an alternate location to which to restore the file or simply accept the defaults and click OK. By default, the file is restored to your Sage Act folder in your Personal Documents folder. After the remote database has been restored, you're prompted to delete the original file. Click Yes to remove the file. Enter your username and password for your database and then click OK. Next, you are asked if you'd like to synchronize with the main database. 
click Yes to proceed with the initial synchronization process. You'll want to verify the process is working by paying attention to the status bars. Each step in the synchronization process is carried out, and you'll see a green check mark when it completes successfully. During this process, any changes that you've made to the server copy of the database are synchronized to this remote copy, and in the future, as you make changes to this remote copy, they will in turn be synchronized to the server. After the synchronization completes, a status message is displayed, and if you've encountered any errors, you may optionally click the link to view the sync log. This information gives you details about the sync process and may be useful to Sage Act hosted support should you encounter any issues during this process. Assuming it was successful, you can close this dialog box and begin working in your database. Add new contacts, activities, opportunities, or other data. And when it's time to synchronize, you can simply click Tools, Synchronize Database, and then choose Synchronize Now. In addition to performing synchronization manually, you can select Tools, Act Scheduler, and create a task to automatically sync based on a predefined schedule. Under Scheduled Tasks, click Create a Task, browse to your database file on the local machine, enter your username and password, and then click Next. In the task list, Select Database Synchronization, and then choose Next. Then using the options available, specify your schedule for sync. Then click Finish. Finally, choose Exit. Then you can get back to work in your database and let the SageAx scheduler keep the local and server copy of the database up to date. To review, the final steps to setting up your offline client include installing SageAx Premium on your local machine, and then restoring a copy of your server database by downloading that remote database file and double-clicking it to start the restore process in Sage Act. Finally, use your Tools menu to either perform a manual sync or set up automatic synchronization using the Act Scheduler. As you have learned, installing Sage Act and restoring a copy of your Sage Act hosted database to your local machine enables offline access to your data the option to import data, or use additional add-ins such as Sagey Marketing for ACT. Following these steps for any of your offline client users gives you the flexibility to access data even when you're disconnected from the Internet, or use your desktop or mobile device browser to access data online.